The new year is a time to review your goals and make a decision to change. It is also a chance for you to plan for the future as well. And creating a vision board can actually help you clarify your goals and discover what is actually important to you. So joining me this morning to explain how you can execute a vision board and the keys to your overall success is Rachel Luna. She Hello. Hey, good morning. <laughs> so you are a certified master neuroscience coach. So uh, thank you for being here with us. First thank off. you for having me. I'm excited to talk about the anti-vision board. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I was just telling her I'm such a fan of vision board. So let's let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah. What is the anti uh, vision board? So the anti vision board is journaling. It's the new vision board. And listen, I'm a big fan of journaling, excuse me, vision boarding. I do it just like you do with your husband. I do it with my kids. But there have actually been studies that show that when people put pictures on a board and they visualize their fantasy world, they lose motivation to actually take the action to bring that vision to life. It's why a lot of things don't actually come true from the vision board. So I say, grab your journal and try this three-step method. Wow, okay, so tell me a little bit about the three-step method because <laughs> I felt like my dreams were just crushed. <laughs> <laughs> no, the cool thing about the three-step faith activated method is that it works with your vision board. But the first thing you wanna do before you start cutting away and pasting is grab your journal mm -hmm. and you're gonna do three steps. Write, shift, script. You're gonna write whatever comes to mind. Would you say one of your goals was for this year? Uh, save to save because okay. we, we spend too much. Right, so you're <laughs> gonna write down, I'm so excited, we're saving, but oh my gosh, what, it, what happens if there's a recession? You're gonna get all the thoughts and fears out onto the paper. This right. is critical because if you don't give your unconscious thoughts and fears a chance to say, hey, I'm here, deal with me, that's actually what's controlling all of your actions in the future. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I never thought that maybe you might be spending so much money because you're so worried about it that you just keep spending. Yes. It's funny you say that because my husband and I always talk. We're like, every time we say we're going to save, we end up spending more. So there's actually science to it. There's that. science behind it. So you want to acknowledge everything. It's going to feel really weird at first. It's going to feel wrong. And you're going to think, I'm wasting time. I promise you, you're not. Get, put that effort in the front. It's going to pay off in the long run. Wow, okay, so tell me um, how you even came to this theory and, and started uh, doing all this. My life, but before I do that, I wanna give you the other step, if that's okay, because yes. that first step, I don't wanna leave you hanging. Oh, no, right? no, you gotta go not leave you hanging. Okay, so <laughs> once you do that, the next step is to shift into a state of gratitude and expectation. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, oh, that's scary. You just you know took my dreams away. So we wanna replace the fear with belief, with gratitude and expectation. So you might say something like, I'm so grateful and excited now that we finally acknowledged our fears and mm -hmm. we know the path to getting debt free. And then the third step is to script your actions as well as your desires as if they've already happened. So remember we spoke earlier about how putting pictures on the board can mm -hmm. actually decrease your motivation? Yeah. Well, if you write down your vision and your actions, now you have a plan. So have you ever woken up and thought, I don't really know what to do today, but I got to like get moving on my dreams. Yes, exactly. Go back to your journal entry. That third step has the plan. Wow, that's a good point. So <laughs> you're not saying not to just do the vision board. It's kind right. of like keep a journal so you actually can, you know, put that vision board into action. Exactly. Once you do the three steps from the faith activated method, now you're going to go to your vision board and cut out the pictures. And here's the plot twist. You're going to pick, um, excuse me, you're going to choose pictures that actually show the action. Wow. And then you're going to write the words of the action. So in my vision board, for example, okay, this is an old vision board. This is what we typically do, right? Yeah. It's usually all the pictures. There's no space. There's no actual intention. But the new way of vision boarding, and this is the one that I submitted. It's my own. And see if, if that'll come up. You want to show clear space. You want to leave room for the miracles. And then there it is. There's some clear space. You want oh. to leave room for the miracles. And then you can see that there are actually words of what you did so that you can start visualizing yourself doing the things. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to go home and redo my vision board. I, right. I love that. Well, yes. thank you so much, <laughs> Rachel Luna. It was a pleasure having you. I could talk to you for hours about this, but we are running out of time. Thank you so much. Thank you for your insight. Thank you.